Hello, this is Chris Cool with mtgoacademy.com, and today we will be going through a brief tutorial about how to download the Magic the Gathering online client and create a new account. The first thing we need to do is get to the Magic the Gathering online website, mtgonline.com. This is the main site for Magic the Gathering online. It's supplemented by many other Magic the Gathering Wizards of the Coast websites, which you can see the tabs here. Probably most importantly is dailymtg.com where you see all the articles from Wizards of the Coast and all the announcements. But this is the primary page to find information about the online client. As you can see, there is a link for downloading Magic Online, which is what we want to do. And once you click on it, it tells you the system requirements. Magic Online isn't a very demanding program, but you will want high-speed internet access and a computer that was made probably in the last five years. Now I already have the client downloaded, but just for the sake of explanation we'll go through the process. Click download client and save the helper file to your computer. Once you have it you'll want to run it. This is the program that actually downloads Magic Online for you. Once you start the download you get this little box and it'll take on a good connection a little under an hour to download it. We're not going to let the entire process go through since I have already downloaded it. But once you've downloaded the client the pause button will change to a launch button and you'll click it and Magic the Gathering Online will open. So we have that screen already opened and it'll look something like this, only the artwork right now is from Alara Block or Conflux. I think Alara Block, Shards of Alara. And a little bit out of date because this is the primary file version. So where it says launch, there will be an update. And you'll click that and the Magic the Gathering Online client will begin updating. Now, for Magic the Gathering Online to work, you'll need the newest .NET framework, .NET 4.0. To download it, it's just a simple Google search away. And the first Microsoft download link is probably what you'll want. And once you've installed it, Magic the Gathering Online will work wonderfully. Now, we'll go back to our new account creation process. I'm going to launch this client You'll see the nice loading screen with Runescar Demon. And I'll maximize it so we don't have any ugly web browsers in the background. And we'll come back to it in just a moment because you can also create a new account on the wizard site, so that merits walking through. A new Magic the Gathering online account changed from what it was a few years ago to its current incarnation. I think in 2009, perhaps in 2010. I believe it was around Magic 2010, the core set, actually. As you can see here, a new account includes one Magic 2012 booster pack until the next core set comes out, Magic 2013, two Magic Online event tickets, five basic avatars, a Planeswalker 2012 deck pack, and over 300 assorted Magic the Gathering Online cards from the common and uncommon level. So don't get your hopes up with all of these wonderful mythics and rares that are sprawled about in this little image. The steps to create a new account are pretty simple. You'll just need to include your birth date and then the username you want and a password, security question, and then all of your billing info so that wizards can charge you the $9.99 needed for a new account. Once you create a new account, you get a little less value than $9.99, but there are some good suggestions on how to get the most for your money, especially in our column in the beginning, Oh So Many Choices, which is included as a link under this tutorial video. I highly recommend reading it. But anyway, we're going to move to the client to create our new account, because it's what I'm most comfortable with. To create a new account from the Magic the Gathering online client, 
you want to click the create new account link here. From there we're brought into the new account creation process. Step one is just agreeing to the terms of service. You notice that some of the information is out of date here. We will be getting a 2012 booster pack, not a 2011 booster pack. But that's not very important for the process of actually creating a new account. So long that we're not going to worry that our new account will have the wrong contents after we've created it. So I'm going to continue this and select my birth date and then continue. For this video, our new account is going to be called Let's Play Magic Online. A quick check username lets us know that that is an acceptable account name. Now I will type in the email address that I want to register this account under and confirm it. Now I will choose a quick password. Something easy to remember that I can change after I've made this video into something that's not easy to remember but much more secure. And now I'm going to enter a security question and an answer. It's recommended that you use something that others won't be able to deduce if they know you somewhat well. I usually just put in gibberish and put in answers that are also gibberish and then just never, my plan is to never lose my password, which is probably a pretty poor method to go about this. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to choose something simple here, even though the fields are blurred out, so it doesn't really matter what I'm putting. And we will check here to verify that we have read the code of conduct and the terms of service and agree to them. In the next page, you have to add the new account creation package to your cart and then click your cart to see that it's been added before you can proceed to the checkout. Now, we will add our billing address, which is a super fun process. And after we've typed in all of the relevant fields, press OK and continue. Now you can pay with PayPal or with credit or debit. To pay with PayPal, you'll have to open up a browser and go through a bit of a different process. For normal store orders, PayPal can take a little bit longer before it is delivered to your account, but we're going to pay with a credit or a debit card and continue. After we've filled out all the relevant information in the credit card information fields, we're ready to purchase our new account. A quick click of purchase and we'll get a quick confirmation that the account has been created and we'll have to check our email to get our new account activation code. Once we have the activation email and the code within it, we're ready to activate our new account. We can get to this step by pressing enter account activation code. Typing in the username that we just chose. Let's play Magic Online. And copying and pasting the activation code into the token. You'll see that's just a string of numbers, letters, and dashes. You won't have to remember about it after this process, so don't worry about it too much. After it's been entered, we'll just press submit. And then we get the message that the new account has been activated. Finish. And now we're ready to log into our new Magic the Gathering online account. In the next video, we'll explore the Magic the Gathering online interface. If you have any questions, you can contact us at MTGO Academy's Beginner Center. Thanks for watching.